For the common German learners, are you having trouble learning those tricky German genders for nouns? Well, this lesson is for you. It's going to give you all the hacks you need to learn them once and for all. Let's look at all the different signs that will help you recognize whether a noun is der, die, or das. These rules will help you determine a German noun's gender about 80% of the time, so they're very helpful. Let's start with der, masculine German nouns. Two-thirds of single-syllable words in German are masculine. So, if it's a single-syllable word and you don't know, just choose der. Also, male people, professions, and sometimes animals are also masculine. Other masculine nouns are compass directions, like der Norden, der Süden, der Osten, der Westen. And oftentimes, car makes and models are masculine der. Der Mercedes, der Volkswagen, der Opel. Months, days, and seasons are also masculine. Der Sommer, der Winter, der Tag. Der Mona. And also, weather, like der Regen, der Schnee. Other masculine nouns are non-German rivers, such as der Mississippi or der Nil. And finally, currencies are often masculine, like der Euro, der Dollar. And if you don't have any of those clues, there are some endings or suffixes in German that can indicate it's a masculine noun. First is ant, like der Elefant, the elephant, or en, like der Garten, the garden. Ent, like student, student is also a der word, or it's ending in ich, like der Teppich, the carpet. Next ending is ich. Honest, honey, der Honest. Ismus is another common masculine suffix. Der Idealismus, the idealism. And ist, like der Polizist, the police officer. Ling is another masculine ending, like der Zwilling, the twin. The suffix or, professor, the professor. And finally, the ending der Circus, a circus. These are all the masculine endings. There are some exceptions to the rules, but these are mostly masculine endings. Let's look at some of the words that are feminine in German and how to identify them. Feminine nouns include female people, professions, and animal, like die Professorin, die Autorin, we add an I-N ending to make a noun profession female. Other feminine nouns include cardinal numbers. Die eins, die zwei, die drei. German rivers are also feminine. Die Elbe, die Donau. Fruits are also often feminine. Die Banane, die Melone. And in German, trees are often feminine. Die Eiche, die Palme, die Weide. And finally, flower, the rose, the tulpe, the narcisse. Just like with the masculine nouns, there are lots of endings that help you identify female nouns in German. Some of these are an E ending, like in die Lampe, a lamp, an EI ending, as in die Kartei, the index, height, as in die Mehrheit, the majority, an IE ending like philosophy, philosophy, an IK ending like the grammatic, the grammar, and also ION as in the Funktion, the function. IT is another feminine German noun ending. Die Mentalität, the mentality. Let's not forget about Kite, the Haltbarkeit. The durability. Another is Schacht, die Nachbarschaft, the neighborhood. Next we have Ung, as in die Erfahrung, the experience. And finally, Ur, as in die Natur, the nature. Let's look at some ways to identify neuter German nouns. Many nouns that start with a GE are neuter, as in das Geschirr, the dishes. Also, number fractions, das Viertel. Other neuter nouns are young babies or 
animal, das Baby, das Mädchen. And finally, nouns formed from verbs are also neuter, das Schwimmen, or das Laufen, the walking, the swimming. Let's look at some German noun endings that indicate when a noun is neuter. A common one is Chen, or C-H-E-N, like das Mädchen. Another neuter ending is et, E-T-T, das Etikett, the label. Fond, F-O-N, is another common neuter ending. Das Telefon, the telephone. Next is line. It's also just like Chen, and then it makes something sound small or little, as in das Häuslein, the little house. The ending M-A is also neuter, as in das Thema, the topic. Ment is the next neuter ending, as in das Medikament, the medicine. And we have Nis, N-I-X, das Kenntnis, the knowledge. And Te, as in das Hotel, is also neuter. Finally, we have Tum and Um. Das Eigentum, the property. Das Studium, the studies. These are all usually neuter endings. Now that you know all the guidelines, let's talk about a few of the rule breakers or exceptions. So remember I said those endings will help you determine the gender of a noun 80% of the time. For the other 20% of the time, it might be a rule breaker. So let's look at some of those. So typically, MA ending is neuter, right? But we have die Firma, which means the company, and it's feminine. So that's one of these rule breakers. And while most currencies are masculine, the Deutschmark is feminine. And um, we just talked about, is neuter. But one word is der Reichtum, the wealth, is one of those exceptions. Der Cement, the cement is another exception. Ment is usually neuter. Here it's masculine. And while most cars are masculine, like the brand names of them, das Auto is neuter. And Ant, which is a masculine ending, is different for das Restaurant, the restaurant. Der Puma, the Puma, is another example. The M-A is a neuter ending, but the animal is der Puma. While most words ending in E are feminine, der Käse is masculine. And even though most German rivers are feminine, der Rhein, the Rhine, is masculine. Finally, let's talk about a few German words that can have multiple genders, like bun. This noun can have any gender, der Bund, die Bund, das Bund. And when you use a different article, it changes the meaning. So how do you know which one means which? Well, let's talk about the, the band. Der Band is like a band from an encyclopedia or a book. We probably won't use Der Band very often. Die Band is a music group. And Das Band is like a band you would wear around your wrist or a decorative band around a packet. So make sure you're always learning those German noun genders when you're learning new words in German. And when in doubt, use these rules to help you figure out what the correct article is. I hope this video helps German learners. Bis bald. Auf Wiedersehen.